I'm Crystal, and I live with my husband Alex and our cat Riley. Despite living with lupus, I try to enjoy life to its fullest. So come share in life's big and little moments with me. In my shoes. Hey guys, it's Saturday, and today we have some errands to run. Um, but first, I have to tell you about my crazy morning. So, I've been trying to finish up my niece's doll, and I could not find the clay pacifiers that I bought at the Downey's doll show this past summer. So I was frantically going around the apartment. I finally found them in like the last place that I thought I would have them. So thank goodness I found those. Then I just realized that I forgot to order eyes for this kit. <laughs> like worst timing because we told my sister we're going tomorrow to bring Morgan's gift. Um, and now if I can't find eyes, it probably won't happen. Um, so I have phoned my good friend Isabel and she is going to check and see if she has any eyes. Like thankfully I have a lot of artist friends <laughs> in Toronto. So I've been asking around to see if anyone has the right size eyes. So far no, but my friend Isabel thinks she just might have 18 millimeter eyes so fingers crossed hopefully she has them and we can just go to her place and get them because otherwise I have to order them online and wait probably till like Monday or Tuesday to get them so that would not be good um, <laughs> because it means that I can't give the doll now until next weekend which is like two weeks after her birthday anyways fingers crossed I will check in later and let you guys know but anyways, we are now headed out because we're going to go drop off the Operation Christmas Child box and the Toy Mountain toys. And then we are going to check about exchanging my boots. So yeah, come along with us. So we came to Bridalwood Mall where there was supposed to be the toy collection bin, but we can't find it anywhere. So I don't know if it's just that they haven't put it up yet, but the website said it was supposed to be here. But anyways, look what we found. Real live reindeer. Check it out. Real live reindeer at the mall. And downstairs they have the train going again. The train that goes through the mall. Santa's set up as well. And also look what's coming soon to this mall. Target. Hee <laughs> hee. I can't wait. Because it's so close to us. But anyways, yeah, I just had to show you the reindeer. So cute. Hello, reindeer. So which one are you? Donner, Blitzen, Comet Cupid? You're definitely not Rudolph. Because <laughs> you don't have a shiny nose. Look at those antlers. So cute. Oh my god, those are huge. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Mr. Reindeer. Very cool. Well, guys, it has been a long, stressful day. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm so tired. And I'm sorry I didn't film as much as I originally intended to, but... We are literally, literally running around all day, nonstop. It's just been super crazy, super busy, and I just really didn't have time to stop and film too much. So basically, like you saw from the footage at the mall, um, <laughs> there was no Toy Mountain bin collection bin there, even though it said on the Toy Mountain website that you could go to Bridalwood Mall. Um, but I was excited to see that Target is coming to that mall because it's literally like a five, ten minute drive from here. So that made my day. Um, <laughs> I hope it'll be a good one. Um, 
and it was cool seeing the reindeer. That was kind of fun. But anyways, after that, we went and dropped off the shoebox for Operation Christmas Child. And we were just kind of in a rush, and I didn't think to film that, but I forgot because I wanted to show you guys how I decorated the box with the, these pretty Christmas stickers that I found at the dollar store. But anyways, it's too late now. Um, but anyways, I took that in, turned that in, um, and then from there, we went to, we went to exchange the boots. We were there for quite a while because I was kind of going back and forth between whether I wanted the size six or size six and a half. Six and a half is what I had ordered online and they just seemed a little bit big for me. So, um, I tried on the six and at first I wasn't sure it was going to work because, okay, I don't know if anyone else has this issue, but I have a real issue when it comes to buying shoes or boots or any kind of footwear really because my left foot is bigger than my right foot and it's like significant like you wouldn't know it to look at them but when I try on shoes I literally feel like my left foot is a half a size larger than my right foot it's really bizarre and it really is a pain because I tried on first I put my the size 6 boot on my right foot and it felt good and I was like oh yeah this is definitely better but then oh my gosh you should have seen how long it took me to get my left foot in the left boot it was ridiculous I didn't think it was gonna go I really didn't and then I was like but anyways, I kept at it, I kept at it, and once it got in, um, within a few minutes of walking around, it already, like, started to, I guess, conform to my foot. So when I took my foot out and tried to put it back in, it went in a lot easier. So, but it was just unbelievable. I really did not think it was going to fit at all. Um, but even, like, walking in them, like, you could tell, like, I have to... Basically, my left boot has to be laced up looser than my right because otherwise it's just too tight. It's like the weirdest thing and it's so frustrating. Like, it's almost like I wish I could buy like two different sized shoes. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Um, but anyways, I went back and forth trying on the two sizes and ended up going with the six. I hope it'll be okay. Um, I just found that the six and a half was flopping a bit not a lot but I could feel it and also because it was like a bit bigger the fabric on the side was kind of like um I don't know how you it was like buckling and then it was like because of where it was buckling it was like poking me in my ankle bone so um I wasn't really getting that with the size six so I was like okay I'm just gonna go with this but it was yeah, I really wish they would sell like two different size shoes. I know they can't obviously, but it's like I could use it. Like I literally could buy like two pairs, but that would be really expensive because they're really expensive boots. So I went with the six, but it, it was anyways. Then Alex ended up getting a pair of win winter boots too. Um, yay! Because yeah, he hasn't had boots in quite a few winters, and I don't know how he does it with the amount of snow we get but he's got himself some boots he got himself the same brand as mine Sorel which apparently are the warmest boots out there I read lots of reviews and they are apparently the warmest boot which is good because I get the Raynaud's in my feet where my feet go numb at the slightest bit of cold so winter is brutal for me so hopefully these will help my Raynaud's I made sure to try the boots on with my thick thick socks that I bought so I'm gonna have my thick socks as well as these really really thick warm boots so hopefully combined I will no longer worry about my toes going numb fingers crossed um so yeah then from there <laughs> we walked down the street to this burger place that apparently Alex heard about online that it's like really really good and so we went there it's pricey for burgers but 
oh man, was it good. Those had, that had to be the best burger I have ever tasted in my life. It, it was amazing, well worth it. So we had burgers, fries, and milkshakes. And then from there, we came home, relaxed a little bit. And then my friend Isabel said that she had a pair of eyes that she thought would fit the cadence kit. So then we went down there to her house to grab them. I tried them in the cadence kit and I thought that they were okay. But now that I'm home and I'm really looking at them, they're too big. So they're not, um, well, actually they're not round enough. I think that's what it is. I think they're the right size, but they're a different type of eye than I usually use. And they're not round enough to fill out the entire socket. Um, so they look weird and I don't think I'll be able to securely attach the eyelashes. Um, because of the way the gap is in the eye socket. So I had to contact my sister and tell her baby's not ready this weekend. <laughs> um, we were, we, I had told her that we would be there tomorrow because I thought for sure I'd have the doll finished because I thought for sure I had ordered eyes like I always do when I order kits. I must have had a lupus fog moment on that. Anyways, I've ordered the eyes. They should be here Tuesday, I think. And yeah, Tuesday, hopefully they'll be here and then the doll will be finished Tuesday. And we can finally go next weekend and give my niece the doll. I'm just like, my nerves are t totally shot at this point. <laughs> and I'm like, I just want to get my pajamas on now and do nothing. On our way back from Isabel's, we actually stopped at Dairy Queen, so I'm going to go and finish my nice blizzard, stuff my face, <laughs> and vegetate for the rest of the night, because I can just feel pain creeping up in my body from the stress. It's just not good. Um, but yeah. Yeah. And it, it's also been like a rainy, dreary day, oh. and that usually gets my joints going too, so I think combined with the stress, it's just not been good. That's Alex hiccuping in the background. Anyways, I am going to end this video because I just want to rest and de-stress at this point because I'm like, ah! anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Good night, everyone. <laughs> this day is over. <laughs> okay. Bye guys. <laughs> Riley, do you want to say bye? Riley, can you say bye? Say bye-bye. No? Sorry, I woke you. <laughs> All right, bye guys. Is official snow. <laughs> the other times that I was trying to get snow, our first couple of snows on film was nothing compared to this. Dinner, so I gotta continue, but I am making devilish, devilish chicken. Um, this is an old recipe that my mom growing up and I absolutely love it. Basically you take these chicken drumsticks